I was using a wire pot. Well, we, we are doing? in Big South Fork, campsite number 39, doing a little base camping before we kick off on this beautiful day. A lovely uh, 23.1 degrees this morning. When I we ain't hiking yet. Poof, what are you doing? <clears throat> I'm fixing breakfast for you. <laughs> We are right now at the intersection of uh, Grand Gap Loop and the John Muir Trail. It's hard to turn back from that view. Yeah. Okay, now let me just come on in and see what you guys are looking at. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Primo, man. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Poos doing the final touches on her rig for the night. And Spam Burglar, he's got uh, everything going on. And our trip leader, he's already rigged for uh, Sub-Zero tonight. And I don't know if you guys can see uh, Joey, but he's down in the paw paw patch. Safe. Beginning the Emberlit charcoal experiment. I can't see you though, it's so backlit. That is, yeah, that's a funeral pyre. You're talking about look at that yep. man it looks like he's in hell burning yeah, it does. <laughs> you <laughs> center you <laughs> Socks. Roach is uh, bringing our food back down. And Spam Burglars. Spam Burglars smells food. Here he comes. <laughs> you gonna catch them when they come down? Right. Uh, sure, there we go. Help Spam. Hey, it's hanging out with buddies, messing man, spam burglar. Is it Roach? Roach. And Poof. <laughs> In a big south floor. Now, show us uh, your rig, man. That is awesome. So this, actually, this is my first trip with this pack. I just made it for this trip. Right. It has a thinner main tube so that all the bedding, everything like that goes in there, and my down jackets, and then these pockets are a little bigger. And basically, I can work out of that without having to unpack a lot. Come down.
trail. Real fast. <laughs> Just wanted to note that we are backtracking. We did take a wrong trail. Didn't go too far. Uh, Poof figured out that we'd missed a trail sign. What kind of trip leader are you? <laughs> Who knows? My God, man. Who knows what could have happened? <laughs> this is the last we ever saw of Spam Burglar. He never came out. Medicine man, what are you doing? Uh, we mac the filter off the spam burglar and we're pumping water. Yeah, if you had to go out on one of those horse trails, this looks like a beaver dam in the Big South Fork. Homeowners Association. Yeah, here's the president. Homeowners Association of Brentwood by the river. Anything to say to our friends back home? Uh, I wish I was here first and got the most awesome spot in the world. Right now, we can't deal with it because Home and Gardening is now doing a photo shoot <laughs> of Hangout <laughs> Spot. Yeah, this is uh, Roaches. You guys saw it two weeks ago. Not much has changed. Except he is using the new Super Shelter to stay warm tonight. No, I didn't. I did that the first night on the first night. night. Okay. The so experiment. You did. And I was happy with that experiment. Yeah. 23 degrees, just a tad bit of condensation. You trust it. I trust it, but okay. uh, on this journey, it's been the Phoenix. Next on the uh, Parade of Homes, Spam Burglar, in the flesh, in the plaid. And, anything to say to the folks back home? Hi! <laughs> and let's check out Spam Burglar's house. Looks like another uh, hammock gear Phoenix. Next on the Parade of Homes, Lady Poof and her uh, kingdom. Oh my God, what a hammocking spot. What is up with this place you're at? This is the high dollar real estate, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at her view. Sweet poof. Do you deserve this kind of uh, living, this upscale? Absolutely. Anything to say to the folks back home? Something deep, something philosophical? Um, it's gorgeous, I wish you were here. <laughs> Next on the Prey to Homes, the uh, low rent district. Oh, this would be Medicine Man's crib. Yo, baby, yo. And Spamberger went to check out a pole mod. You guys have been looking at my setups before. You know the pole mod. You know what it looks like. This is from some unnamed supplier who did not get the little tie off in the center of the tarp, though. Imagine that. Don't know how it's possible. Doesn't matter. Still works. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm slumming down there at all. Folks, this parade of homes is not over. We're taking you to the high rent district. Most expensive property here. What do we find? The DYI bridge hammock by hanging out himself. Primo, look at the carbon fiber pole adaptations. Total weight of this, without poles, seven ounces, guessing? No, uh, it's with uh, nine and a half ounces. Nine and a half ounces. The poles for the spreader bars. Seven and a half. Also is hiking poles. Yeah. I got the luxury of the Grizz Ridge. This would be one of Lee's. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows Lee. If you don't know Lee, man, you don't own one of our under quilts, you're messing up. Something else uh, for the folks back home. Getting the cold feet, trying to keep the foam pad centered under the feet. Uh, look what Genius has done here. Okay, we're doing a little bit of a climb to find out where Joey's yeah, set up. Yeah, no drinking up here. Uh, Joey B set up. Very sleek, very smooth looking. And uh, just a dominating view of the surrounds.
need to mention this is a switchback hammock. Uh, thanks Darby for contributing to the hammock community. <clears throat> Good morning Chug. Been worrying about you. Hoping you're warm. We woke up to a nice balmy 50.2 Here's the view this morning Sometimes you've got too much whoopee sling and too much tree hugger This time luckily I had an extension and that allowed me to go around the tree one more time to take up some excess tree hugger length. Shiner legs. I'm hooked. Lobster heels, man. <laughs> oh, no, what? The movies are based on a book. <laughs> Never seen it either. Oh, you're doing all right. How about yourself? You couldn't give a man a lift, could you? I don't know. But I'd be willing, but he might not be. <laughs> I'm teasing. The hike's over, but just want to make mention the Big South Fork has got awesome uh, shower facilities and the campgrounds. Perfectly clean, nice hot water, no little button you got to push a million times. So it was something to look forward to cleaning up after the hike, and we did.